Hello students, today in this video I will be discussing top 1000 most repeated exam words part 4. You will get the PDF of this session on my telegram channel so please join the telegram channel the link is given in the description box. So let's begin the session but before beginning if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to it and also click the bell icon so that you never miss any video. Okay so let's begin. This is the first word today amplify. Now what is the meaning of amplify? Look at this picture. Here you can see sound is being increased using this, right? Sound is being increased. So amplify means to increase, to boost, to expand or to enlarge, okay? So in Hindi you can say badhana. Badhana. Okay? So sound can be amplified what else can be amplified? Lies. Lies can be amplified. Yes. So anything can be increased. Anything that can be increased, we can say can be amplified. Okay. Next, annihilate. Annihilate is a verb and annihilate means to destroy something completely. Look at this picture. This is a picture of bombing. So, annihilate means to destroy. You can easily relate from this picture. To, to obliterate, to eliminate something, to completely wipe out or erase something, to exterminate. Okay. So, annihilate means to destroy. In Hindi, we can say vinash karna. Vinash karna. Okay. Next. Now also, uh, an highlight is a very important word, okay, very, very important word, okay. Try to remember the synonyms as well, especially obliterate and exterminate, these two synonyms. Next. Annoy. Annoy is a verb. Annoy means to irritate someone, like uh, this boy is irritating his sister. Okay, so annoy means to irritate someone, to make someone angry, to displease, to offend, to arc, to exasperate someone. Okay, so in Hindi, what can you say? In Hindi, we can say, jhagda karna ya fir pareshan karna, right? In Hindi, we can say pareshan karna. Pareshan karna. Okay, next. Next is antipathy. Antipathy is a noun and antipathy means a strong dislike for something or someone. Look at this woman. This woman dislikes something. So she is giving this expression. Okay. So antipathy means strong dislike. It can also mean hostility for something or opposition. Okay. So uh, example antipathy to casteism that is dislike, disliking castes casteism okay next arduous arduous ends in o u s so this is an adjective and arduous means something that is very difficult something that requires a lot of labor a lot of hard work that is laborious something that is strenuous something that is onerous something that is burdensome look at this woman this woman has to complete so many assignments so completing so many assignments is difficult so this is an arduous we can say this is an arduous task that is a laborious task okay arduous task means laborious task so in hindi we can say kathin in hindi we can say kathin Next, artful. Artful is also an adjective. It ends in F-U-L. Any word that ends in F-U-L is an adjective like skillful, artful. Okay. So, this is an adjective and this means clever or cunning. Clever, cunning, crafty, sly, devious. Okay. So, someone who is clever, someone who can, uh, who can, uh, you know, uh, do his job in a clever way, in a cunning manner, in a crafty way, that person, that person is artful. Okay. So, uh, in Hindi, what can you say? In Hindi, we can say dhurt. 
राइट इन हिंदी वी कैन से धूर्त Atrocity. Atrocity is a noun. Atrocity is a noun, and it means cruelty. Look at this picture. Cruelty. Look at this picture here. This person is pointing a rifle on this woman. So this is what? This is violence. This is cruelty. This is barbarity. Okay. So atrocity means cruelty, violence, or barbarity. Example. Atrocity. of the talibans right okay in hindi what can you say in hindi we can say atyachar in hindi we can say atyachar okay right. next attribute attribute can act both as a noun and as a verb so attribute means the quality characteristic feature or trait of someone or something like look at this honesty look at this example honesty is an attribute of a wise man so honesty is what honesty is a characteristic of a wise man wise men are honest honesty is a feature it is a trait it is a quality of a wise man okay and uh, another meaning of attribute is to accredit that is to give credit to someone or something okay to ascribe ascribe means to give credit to someone or something look at this example i attribute my success to my teachers so this means i i give credit of my success to my teachers okay so here in the second example attribute has been used as a noun and in the first example attribute has been used as a verb okay next bashful again f u l n c n f u l so this is an adjective look at this girl this girl is shy this girl is shy so bashful means shy this girl is reserved this girl is diffident coy reticent reluctant okay just the opposite of opposite of what brave extrovert is shy and reserved okay understood so um, what is uh, what can you say in hindi in hindi we can say sankochi okay jise sankoch hoti hai sankochi so who is a shy person one who cannot uh, speak confidently in front of people in front of many people that person is a shy person okay baffle baffle is a verb and baffle means to confuse okay baffle means to confuse look at this picture this woman is very much confused she has many questions in her mind and she doesn't have answers to those questions okay so she's confused she's puzzled she's perplexed she is bewildered okay so in hindi we can say in hindi what can you say confuse okay please write down the hindi meaning of this word okay write down the hindi of confuse okay next now we will solve some revision questions that is we will revise some of the words that we have learned in our previous session so look at the first one advertisements hoodwink us into buying things we don't need advertisements hoodwink us into buying things we don't need so what is the synonym of hoodwink advertisements confuse us no confuse is not a synonym so hoodwink means what hoodwink means deceive hoodwink means deceive trick then dupe right cheat so advertisements actually deceive us they trick us so the right answer is trick option b next we should not abrogate our responsibilities towards our parents so what is the synonym of abrogate try to answer the question okay try to answer the question in your mind after that listen to what i say abrogate abrogate means what abrogate means to cancel or repeal or revoke an argue, an agreement a contract or a law this is the first meaning and what is the second meaning of the word abrogate 
द सेकेंड मीनिंग इज टू एस्केप और इवेड आर रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ओके सो वी शुड नॉट एब्रोगेट आवर रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज टूअर्ड्स आवर पेरेंट्स विच मीन्स वी शुड नॉट इवेड आवर रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज ओके ऑनर मीन्स वॉट ऑनर मीन्स टू रेस्पेक्ट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डेलीगेट डेलीगेट मीन्स टू असाइन a job to someone okay pass on a job to pass on a job next his vindictive nature landed him in prison so what is the synonym of vindictive synonym of vindictive his vindictive nature now look at this sentence landed him in prison so when do you go to prison when you do something bad okay so vindictive is a negative word vindictive is an adjective it is a negative quality so what is the meaning of vindictive vindictive means revengeful it means spiteful spiteful means hateful when you when you keep hatred inside you resentful so vindictive means revengeful spiteful resentful unforgiving okay so your answer is all of the above So thank you everyone I hope you have enjoyed the session so please uh, like the video if you have enjoyed and also please share the video with your friends I'll come up with the next part tomorrow thank you so much